This is a film about metadata. What is metadata, you may ask? This is Joe. He's a researcher. Metadata can help Joe to be more efficient. Metadata is not rocket science, but right now spacecraft are travelling in outer space carrying metadata. NASA is the agency responsible for the space programme of the United States government. In 1977, it launched two Voyager spacecraft, whose mission was to send back scientific information about deep space. Voyager 1 is now further from Earth than any man-made object has ever been. In case the Voyager spacecraft were found by aliens, each craft contained a gold record containing greetings in many languages, films, pictures and sounds of Earth. But how would an alien know what a record was? How would they even know how to play it? The answer is metadata. On the cover of each record are eight diagrams. They explain the speed the record should play at, the position, horizontal, the types of video wave on the record, what the first video frame should look like, where our sun is located, how the time code on the recordings should be decoded. All this information is metadata, or data about data. Other examples of metadata are book metadata. These include subject, author, publisher, and language. Metadata about music CDs. These include genre, composer, location of recording, record label. Metadata about datasets, such as the UK Census. Since 1801, every 10 years, the UK has reserved a day for the census. Data about every person in every household is gathered. The 2001 census gathered data about 60 million people in 24 million households. That's a lot of data. To use a census data set effectively, you need metadata such as date, area type, for example county, region or district, or theme. Photographic metadata. These include the photographer's name. The date the photograph was taken. Its subject. and location. So why do we need metadata? Metadata helps you find things. You look by band in a music store.
you look by author in a bookstore. You look by genre when renting a film. Metadata also helps you to ask for permission when you want to use somebody else's work. When Emily finds a photograph that she wants to use, Metadata helps her to ask the photographer for permission to use it. When Ash wants to sample a recording, Metadata helps him to ask the record label for permission. Here are some examples of how metadata is used on the web. Metadata helps you to search for CDs by band in an online music store. Metadata helps you to search for books by author on your library catalogue. Metadata helps you to search for photographs by subject on a photo sharing site. Metadata helps you to look for films by actor on a movie database. So why should you create metadata for your work? Adding metadata to things that you create helps you and the people using your work. If you create something that's stored electronically, you want others to find it and perhaps say, hey, thanks, this was useful. If you put photos on the web, you could add metadata such as subject and photographer. Here's an example. If you take pictures of strange fish, not everyone will know what they are or do. This is Emily swimming in the ocean, where she discovered her strange fish. If you add metadata about your work, it will help others to find it and avoid the following scenario. Joe flies to the Indian Ocean. He waits four months to take a photograph of a strange fish, one that he's never seen before. Joe flies home with his picture. When Joe sees Emily, she tells him that she already has a photograph of the strange fish. Joe is dismayed. He has spent his whole research grant getting something that he could have found on the web. If only he'd known that the fish in Emily's photograph was the one he was looking for. The moral of the story is, add metadata. Your work will be more readily available because it's easier to find. It's clear who created it. It's easy for others to cite in their publications. It helps people to build on your work rather than recreate it. If everyone creates metadata, you save time and money too. It also meets the requirements of some funding bodies to make your work readily available for others. If you want to know more about metadata, have a look at these resources on the web.